What's up? Today we're going to be taking a look at Siege Deluxe Class 6 Gun. This guy was released in 2020 for the low, low price of $30, and he is very much out of focus. There we go. Now, Siege 6 Gun is based off of 6 Gun, the character, from the 1986 Metroplex figure. This was one of the uh, pieces to that base former, and I don't have that base former, the new one, Generations version, but this does color match that Metroplex quite well and does add. A pretty nice, it's a pretty nice addition if you have that Metroplex. I unfortunately, unfortunately don't, so I can't show that to you. I can't talk for some reason. But the overall design of this guy looks awesome. He carries over that Siege aesthetic very well from the original, because the original is all flat panels. I love the way that the guns are done on the arms this time. They're not on the side, they're coming off the back. So I like how that works. The overall sculpting on this guy is pretty cool. He is covered in weapons and weapon ports so he does what he needs to do he's a parts former he's one of those weaponizers uh but he's part of that subline of figures from this wave i'm just going to call parts formers because you have them in earth rise and i'm assuming you're going to have them in kingdom as well so yeah but the paint works nice could use a little bit more paint in the uh body section because some of the pictures showed some white in the torso underneath the whole cockpit section but it's not there oh well Overall though, the design looks really nice, it poses very well, which we'll talk about in a second. It just looks cool in any sort of stance, and I feel like that has to do with the proportions. The proportions are, they're stylized, but they're very, very well done in their, of being stylized. They're really nice, I love the way that the legs work. They're probably my favorite part of the figure, are the way the legs work, overall being guns and just how they look in robot mode, they look quite nice. Standing, you can get him into a lot of different poses. As you can see here, he's shooting something. All of the um, weapons are compatible with the Siege Blast effects, so that makes it look for a nice display piece. I couldn't find any of mine when I shot this, so I can't show that to you, but yeah. Uh, and my autofocus is having a lot of fun here. Overall though, this guy looks really, really cool. Uh, the scratch marks are located basically just on the feet. As you can see there in the little 360, they're the feet and on the lower legs. But they aren't too, too egregious. They don't stick out as much as other figures like Siege Megatron, for example. So I don't mind them on this guy. They're just located on the feet, which I think is where they should be because, you know, he's walking around all the time. He's going to be scratching up the paint on his feet. So that works. I don't think it's anywhere else, to my knowledge. I don't see it on any other part of the figure. So yeah, I know a lot of people, myself included, don't really like the scratch marks. So... On this figure, they're quite muted and they're, they just look nicer than the other ones overall. 360 here lets you see the back of the figure, which has virtually no kibble. Then again, this guy is entirely made up of guns, hence his name. Uh, for comparison, here he is next to Crosshairs, which is relevant because in the instructions for, figure, for these two figures, um, I believe it's Ironhide who's shown wielding six gun. I don't have Ironhide, but I do have Crosshairs, so yeah. He's your standard deluxe size. Crosshair is a little bit taller than your standard deluxe. Six gun in here comes up to about five and a bit inches tall. So yeah, he's your standard deluxe size. Not much else to that really. Now, as I said, he's basically made of, he's, he's accessories. That's his whole shtick is he becomes guns. You can just rip him in half, violently rip him into pieces and he becomes other weapons. Not exactly six guns. That was the shtick of the G1 figure was he literally turned into six different guns. This one becomes a ton of different weapons. Um, some that look really good and a couple that don't look very good. I will mention this right now. The two smaller guns in the left corner there, they are actually the same mold as Sideswipe's rocket launcher from the Siege Deluxe Sideswipe. And here he is all over crosshairs and this looks ridiculous especially the feet thing i like the shoulder cannons and the shield and maybe the little guns but the feet look stupid <laughs> that's just whenever you give a transformer like that shoes and they look stupid like that it doesn't work very well 
you can do all sorts of different combos. For example, here is Crosshairs just holding those two Sideswipe style guns. And that looks fine, you can use them as like little drills I guess maybe if you had Ratchet. Here he is holding the arm cannons, which the black ones can separate off the arms and be used as separate guns if you wanted to. But these look really cool actually, these fit this figure pretty well. They probably fit Ironhide and Ratchet more because of their color schemes, but they still look pretty neat. These are my two favorite uh, weapons because these are the classic G1 Metroplex guns. Because six guns legs would become Metroplex's weapons and they didn't do that in the Generations one. But I really like how this looks. These won't fit in Metroplex's hands because of how um, small they are. Speaking of hands, this is my favorite combination of any of the parts of a six gun. He can become a hand with two thumbs. That just looks so funny and it's actually officially in the instructions. So I love this. This is so cool. It's got articulated fingers and articulated thumbs so you can do whatever you want. Here's the obvious joke for those of you who want to see him do the obvious. Yeah, there you go. There's the finger. But yeah, I just think this is so funny. It reminds me a lot of the Infinity Gauntlet because you can just like put it on figures hands. Overall, Six Gun is pretty neat uh, with his little accessories. Articulation though is not sacrificed because of that. The head swivels, the arms can rotate, they're ratcheted a little bit. They can go in and out, you got bicep swivel, 90 degree elbow bend, no wrist joint due to the holes in the back of his arm for the guns. Uh, waist rotation, hips are on universal joints, he does have a thigh swivel. Now the thigh swivel on mine is a little unfortunate because it'll just twist itself off very easily, it's very loose. Uh, the knee bends 90 degrees and the toes can flap forward, they're a little loose on mine as well, and he has ankle pivot. But those toes being loose do present a bit of a problem because he likes to fall forward a lot. Now the transformation for this guy requires a surface because you need to take him apart and put the pieces on that surface so you can transform it. But the transformation is your standard parts former fare. It's better than Cog's because Cog's transformation was just rip him in half and then plug him in on this yucky port. But he becomes this little jet thing. and. I don't mind the jet thing. I know a lot of people don't like the, I'm just going to call it the jet thing, how the jet thing looks, but I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, it is kind of bulky and kibbly at the bottom, but that's to be expected. It looks really nice though. The wings, while it doesn't look like it could hold itself, it is technically a VTOL, so it could potentially hold itself up in the air if that's something you were worried about. I don't know. It's a toy. Who cares? Here it is next to uh, Crosshairs in vehicle mode. And it's quite a large vehicle mode, I'm not going to lie. Crosshairs is a big figure, a big deluxe. So Six Gun here is definitely a larger vehicle mode, especially with those wings. It just, I think it looks neat. I like the four guns at the front. You can plug him in to any other figure. There's a, a peg that can fold out at the bottom so you can stick him on top of Crosshairs here. And this just looks ridiculous. Let's get that off there, fold the peg away. It just, yeah. Overall, I think this vehicle mode is pretty neat. Um, I like it. I know a lot of people don't like it. They think it's a throw-in vehicle, and technically it is. It has to have a vehicle mode for the sake of it being a transformer. But I still think this is a really neat vehicle mode. It's better than COGS. Definitely better than COGS. Unless you count the two separate gasket and grommet modes of COG. But the combined mode of COG, this is definitely better. I, I like this plane mode quite a bit. It's pretty neat. Overall though, this guy is, he's good. My figure is riddled with QC issues in the feet and the hips, so I have some problems there. Your mileage may vary, obviously that's just QC, that happens with every figure. But if you don't have those QC issues, or if you can find one that you know is going to be good or whatever, then this is a good figure. It's it, the, it beats COG, it's better than COG. My COG figure falls in half all the time. This one is so much better, it looks nicer, it just feels like the plastic feels better, I don't know, that's hard to explain, but the plastic feels a little better, it poses nicer, it just becomes better looking guns. It, overall, it's a nicer figure than COG, and I recommend this if you want a weaponizer, or if you just want a 6 gun for your Metroplex and don't want to pay for the third party one, because this is really good. Anyways, that has been my look at Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Deluxe 6 Gun. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links in the description. And I liked the Siege show. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.